So I'm, I'm Thomas, also Thomas, so we're two Thomases. Um, I, I guess, uh, I mean, we, we're, we're open for questions, um, but if no one has any immediate questions, maybe we can um, start. Um, maybe um, you tell us a little bit about how the film came about and how you how you ended up in East Timor, because you're from Melbourne, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I ended up in Timor because we're working on a theatre show um, called Dokurai. Um, and that, uh, and then we had to rewrite it, and I ended up back there because I ended up directing it, and we had to like remake fifty percent of it. And I thought, oh, I don't like being here, only just working, so I, so I would just come back and live here for a bit. And then I had no money, so I, then I got ended up with a job, um, and and I thought, oh, I don't want to do a job, I want to make films. So we made films instead. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this is the result. Uh, this is the result. <laughs> right. This is the result. Um, and I I had. Can I start like on a totally different tangent? Is that cool? Um, I guess so. Yeah. I just uh, last night I like at like about eleven, Jonas uh, started texting me and he said, "Oh, tomorrow we got we got a screening of the movie in Dili." Oh, great! That sounds good. Yeah, and he said, "Yeah, and I'm going to be in Jogja because I'm living in Jogja in a cemetery now. It's really lovely." Um, and he's going to be there uh, in December, and so we're going to sit down and make uh, the idea of another one. So this is like suddenly. So anyway, that was my news. I was excited. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so... Uh, so he's in Jogjakarta now? No, he's in oh. Dili right now. Oh, he's in Dili. Um, but he's going to be in Jogja in December. So I'm right. back there in, okay. in December. For, for um, Jaff, I guess, right? Is that Jaff? No. no, no a bit after. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making some kind of theatre mess. And, and oh, okay. I've got a, a couple of other ideas. It's a research issue. Wait, was Jonas the lead character? No, no Jonas is my co. Oh, he's the co-writer. Co co okay. director. Oh, he wasn't in the film? Yeah, he was. He was the security guard in the hotel because okay. the guy playing the security guard was stuck up a mountain with a broken car. Okay. <laughs> um, and we got there. <laughs> yeah, that was an intense afternoon. Um, but yeah, no, he did it real good. He's a good actor. He did a great job as a security mm. guard, yeah. He's great. He's also the, the, the homeless dude in a bin in the vampire movie we made. The first thing we made was a vampire movie because um, me and another friend we were back in Dili in like, uh, 2015. And uh, we were making films with uh, another guy who's not in this film, but he's like a great actor. Um, anyway, and another friend came around my house, sat down the, in the hall, because there was people watching uh, Dark Shadows, I think it's called. It's like a, a Johnny Depp movie. Anyway, he watched like 20 minutes of this, went home, wrote a movie, and we were up in the mountains, and he went, hey, I wrote a vampire movie. And we went, oh, great, okay. <laughs> and so we got back that weekend, and we made a vampire movie. And, um, and everyone went, yeah, oh, this is pretty good. We should do that more. And so then I got back to town like uh, four or five months later mm -hmm. and we started writing a thing and a friend, the cinematographer and his partner who's the AD showed up and we said, we've written an idea. We've got an idea. We've, I've been there for about a week. And they went, oh, this is a feature. And we went, shit, it is. We've accidentally written a feature. And so we got to make it. Then they were leaving and like, uh, they, they had a one month visa. And so they, and they were flying out. Um, and so we went, all right, so we got four weeks to make the movie. And so we did that. Um, yeah. And then it took an, a year and a half to do the post production. Because um, that stuff costs money. Yeah, and it's, it's quite beautifully done. I mean, the, it's very pretty, yeah. the, um, also the editing and the, the, um, mm. the other effects that you've used. Mm. Yeah. yeah, Lucy's mm. a mad gun. She's yes. real cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, she's good. She did a lot of volunteerish type work on it as well. She worked for about four months straight, and she flew over to Dili for three weeks uh, editing there. Mm -hmm. um, when we were putting in soundtrack and finalising mm -hmm. and everything, we did it all in Dili. Mm -hmm. Any questions from the floor? I mean, yes. Hi. Sorry. When you write the film, uh, what was going through your mind actually oh. when you came up <laughs> with the? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Which bits? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we just like uh, I couldn't tell you that. I can tell you where I'm sitting when we think of him being born from a duck egg, though. I can tell you exactly where my which way my chair is facing. Um, <laughs> what I was thinking, fuck, I don't know. Um, no, it really made sense at the time, though. Like, and <laughs> Jonas is a strange individual as well, so it's like bounced together. It just it'll grow like that. Yeah. He said last night, when doing a historical recreation movie, I thought, all right. <laughs> I thought that sounded interesting. Let's see us try. It'll go really pear-shaped really quick, I think. Yeah. So d um, did it start with the idea of the egg? Did it? No. no. Uh, it started I, early on. I wanted to talk 
gender uh -huh. things in it and gender identity uh, in Dili because there's uh -huh. a, like a severe gender imbalance. Um, and it's like, uh, I think that's something that is damaging to a lot of people's relationships and uh, it, uh, it, it uh, kind of excuses a lot of domestic violence and like say trans women in Dili uh, at the time anyway would get like attacked with rocks in the street and stuff like that. So it was like something that I it was like necessary. Um, I also was obsessed with the idea of a guy washing up out of the ocean in a full suit. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's the opening cemetery. scene, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And, I, and I really like that cemetery. Um, and the it church. Is, it is beautiful, isn't it, on the hill? And the, yes, and the skeleton yeah. of the church, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so I don't know, those was, that was were the pieces I showed up with, and, I kinda, and we just started talking shit, and that's where we ended up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Are these all locations in and around Dili? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. This is like, it's all in Dili. Um, okay. Except for the, the burning garbage piles, which is like outside the city, like half an hour outside the city, mm -hmm. um, which you kind of, maybe you notice it's on a different camera because that was like a year later. Um, did, I didn't notice that. <laughs> cool. Any, any, any questions uh, um, elsewhere from the floor? Is there one? No, that's someone playing stories? with their phone. <laughs> that's cool. I do that. I uh, shot in 14 days, so yeah, two and a half weeks. Um, but that's like all production, five weeks. Like all like uh, from concept to shot was five weeks. Mm -hmm. So like we started writing it. We wrote the idea by the end of one week. We'd started pre-production and we're writing the actual dialogue and done that by the end of the second week. Started shooting. I had like four days off, finished writing, did all the pray for the next two weeks. Yeah, it was really quick. Uh, but then took an, a year plus to, yeah, to edit. Yeah, to, to get it cut and yeah. to get it, uh, to get the sound done. Like the sound we started a year after shoot. Right. Um, so I landed back in Dili on June. Mm -hmm. I think we finished shooting in, in June and then mm -hmm. I landed back in Dili a year later. Right, right, right. Um, and and, the, and the, the main actor, that the gentleman in the suit. Apo, yeah. Yeah, is he is he a, a, an actor in in Dili? Is he or is he an yeah. artist or a, yeah. something else? <laughs> yeah, um, he's kind of I don't know. Actors, it's a strange line in Timor, really. Um, like the great actors are also crazy people. Mm -hmm. um, so like Osme, who's uh, not in the film, he's he's this like incredible straight performance weirdness but like severe uh, trauma and strange behaviors, mm. but also he's a comedian, like an incredible comic. Hmm. So Apo as well, Apo became like country's first stand-up comedian. Oh really, uh, oh so he's a stand-up comedian? Yeah, for yes. a bit, okay. yeah he did that. <laughs> you know, he's like, he does lots of stuff. Like I first met him, he was like a, a, an actor in a theater group, I was working in an arts community there, and we became like close collaborators really quickly. Mm. He was living in an empty bus, um, mm. that was the bus of the first theater company in the country. Um, but it was like all gutted out and I spent a night with him in it when he'd done it up as a giant bird. So it was like built, the whole bus had been built using palm trees into this huge bird. And so we slept in the giant bird together. Um, yeah, um, no, he's, uh, yeah, he's got, he's, he's known as an actor for sure. But he doesn't have like a TV show or anything like that. Right, right, sure, yeah. sure. But he's, yeah, one of the most recognized. Interesting, okay, yeah. Um, they kind of, so when he left the drama, like the theatre company troupe group um, that was in the place where I was working, he ended up in this uh, a government organisation called the Youth Forum and he started training actors and teaching art um, there. And so uh, the, the young couple came from there. Lola was, I knew her from the ghost. I knew her from the, the theatre group that I knew Apo from. We did like this wedding, uh, no, it, was a, it was a wedding, but it was also a funeral um, of this woman who was pregnant following the coffin of her husband and, it, like, and his phone was ringing and he keeps answering it inside the coffin. Anyway, all this fire and she was, because apparently the number one song in Timor for funerals and weddings is My Heart Will Go On, Celine Dion. Anyway, so Lola was out the front of the coffin doing Celine Dion. I was just like poking her with a stick, going, Lola, get the fuck off stage, what are you doing? You're in the middle of the parade, it's terrible. Um, and yeah, anyway, I knew her from then. And when we did the vampire movie, um, she went, I hear you're doing a movie, I want in, I'll do anything. 
And we went, well, all you can do is like sit there for one shot. And she went, yeah, I'm in. I'll be there. So she showed up at like eight at night. It was this random shot. It's like, here I go, get a Lola. Good on you. Um, and then uh, we started writing it and Jonas went, Lola's in it. But he went, nah, Lola's in it. It's oh, okay, cool. And Flash, the, uh, the priest, he was, he's like a, a long time actor. He was from the same theatre group that uh, I met up through. Yeah. Um, and Azano, the dude with the tie, same thing, but now he lives in the market. The guy with the, the white glasses, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the criminal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the random the killer. murderer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hi. Hello. So I'm just wondering, how is the industry, the film industry there? <coughs> when I read in the, like, about this film, it's a false movie, right? It's an, Movie number, film number four yeah. by Oh, made in Timor. Like, so the first, first film made there was made by an Australian company, and it's like about Australians in Timor. Uh, the second film, I think, was made by a Korean company, and it's about a Korean dude in the Timor. So, the soccer, it's yeah. a soccer film, yeah, it's I've seen this. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I liked it. I thought it was like the best one. <laughs> so, how are how, how the industry now? Uh, this year, <laughs> it's a weird story, but uh, this year there's like a film festival, right? Film festival organized by foreigners though. And so like a bunch of filmmakers there went, fuck that, we're building a union. So now there's a union. <laughs> so <laughs> a film today there is screening in the union. Um, so it's cool, it's really cool that a lot of people are getting together because that means there's dialogue. Once there's like uh, dialogue, there's less competition, there's more collaboration. Once there's more collaboration, there'll be more things. Um, so it's, it's not really an industry per se, but there's people starting to make movies and make movies for, uh, as an art. Um, one of the things we were doing last year was a lot of projection stuff, so uh, visual experimental stuff on walls at events, um, which opens up film to be more of an artwork rather than like a, a soap opera. Um, you know Sinatron? There's a whole lot of Sinatron in Timor, so a lot, it's like the big influence on storytelling style. Um, so we're kind of like the messier, weirder, freakier shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, does anyone want stories? I can tell stories. <laughs> I, a little bit, not a lot. It, you need like money. Um, we didn't have any. This whole thing was made on, originally the initial budget for a shoot for the first five weeks was like 2,000 Australian dollars, which is what like, uh, 6,000 ring it, yeah. Um, and then all up probably spent on it is probably about uh, 7,000 Australian, which is like uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25,000. Yeah. yeah, right, yeah. And most, a lot of that was about getting artists to Melbourne for the, uh, the premiere. Um, so, yeah. And mostly if the, is, we're gonna try and get it anywhere, it's just me, uh, which means it's slow, because I got other stuff I wanna do. <laughs> <'Cause> it, <yeah. laughs> Sorry, that's weird. So, because so, it yeah. played in Melbourne the Film Festival it did. and it then also in, in Jaff. Festival. It in played Jogja. in Jogja. Um, and it played Anywhere a couple else. of other places. Oh, it played in, we played it in Castlemaine. That was nice. Mm -hmm. We went out for a day. Yeah. Um, and it played in Brisbane. Mm -hmm. No, Brisbane. No. Uh, Darwin. Yeah. yeah Darwin. Darwin. Okay. Yep. Played in Darwin and uh, mostly in Australia. It's played places. Um, but it hasn't really traveled much more than that. I mean, it's starting to do things now, which is cool, which is nice. People in Timor kind of were initially bamboozled. And now people are going, actually, your movie's the best one. That's what I'm hearing come from Jonas last night. I thought, ain't that nice. Good on that fella. He went off and got a real job because nobody's going to employ him. <laughs> Did he make a movie? Whatever. Can't now make people are going, movies. hey, you made a good movie. And it's cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> main challenge? Um, oh, oh, the budget's okay, because it's community, so, like, in Timor, uh, the budget was in the, yeah, the post, that was shit. Um, not enough shots, I reckon. Um, not enough, uh, not enough time. Because normally I, I make really elaborate narratives, uh, like, my storylines are really weird, twisted shit. This is like a, <laughs> they don't talk that much. Normally, I, I talk a lot. 
Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, time. I would have liked another three months. On it. Not three months on the pre, uh, like, all up three months would be cool. Like, two months writing and development and then one month shoot, that would have been sick. I reckon that would have been great, yeah. And, and what are you working on? Because you're in town now doing Here for something. Theater. Yeah, um, what's the job? What's uh, the, the we've show? We've got a show opening in Adelaide uh, the week after next. Mm -hmm. It's about the Light family. Um, oh, so uh, Francis Light, who established uh, Penang as a British colony, and his son William Light, who laid out Adelaide. Um, and his mother who was known as Martina Rosales, um, but may have been a princess called Sidi Subaria. Anyway, it's about the colonization of history. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's heaps historical. I, the first development we had of it, I showed up, I'd accidentally written a book. I didn't have a script. The director quit. Um, it's true, <laughs> it happened. Um, yeah, no, it took three years to, to make. Um, and it's opening in Adelaide in two weeks. I'm panicking. So that's why I'm really scatty today. Because uh, I didn't sleep much and then I had to shoot all the green screen stuff and then we got all that. Anyway, I'm not panicking. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. Um, gonna have so so, so you're working with Malaysian actors yeah, on that? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's one Australian guy uh -huh. called Marty Bloom. Who's playing William White, I guess. No, he's no. playing Francis Light. Oh, Francis Light. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. the rest of the cast are in Malaysia, and, and they're yeah. going to Adelaide. They're going to Adelaide in two weeks. In next Friday. Oh, great! So okay. next week. Okay. Yeah, it's super exciting. And yeah. yeah, so I'm in Jogja because I went. Fuck this history stuff. It's great. I love it. And so I thought I'm going to write about Raffles, Stanford Raffles invading uh, Java. Java. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I wanted like I'm I'm I, st I ended up there researching uh, uh, that. But I've got way laid and now I'm a VJ, which is the best <laughs> plan ever. But I, like, I'll start properly writing a theatre thing once this theatre thing's done and then I've got time. On, on the, the, the Stanford Raffles one, yeah. right? Colonialism yeah. part two. Yeah, and it's kind of like, because I'm working with these dudes there who are like uh, weird kind of contemporary, they're street artists, but they do Wyong stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I'm working with those dudes and they're really cool, like super psychedelic, strange, strange looking mm -hmm. pop art stuff mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. super cool. So the visual is really nice. All right, we look forward to it, yeah. yeah. Um, other questions? Other questions? Yes. So when you kind of like, you're working together with uh, uh, the other director, right? Yeah. The Timor yeah. director. Yeah. So when you working together, actually, the initial idea, is it you're thinking of like doing this movie in more, like surrealist vibe? Yeah, yeah. He's like, like some, like, He's like a big fan of uh, Holy Mountain. Do you, you know Holy Mountain? Yeah. yeah. He thinks Holy Mountain's like super cool. Joe um, Yodorowsky, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and so, yeah, our automatic tangent is like... Mm. Yeah, and the, the narrative kind of is just like, it's not quite a reality, it's not quite a thing. And that's normally things I make are set inside uh, the head of the storyteller. Um, so, and also, in I think in a lot of Fadaluku like uh, stories, like the his mother tongue, often it's a metaphor inside a metaphor. And so it's this very weird style. Um, yeah, because they I don't know all the dudes I know got a fucking weird sense of humor. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it's just where we automatically went to. Which is why I, when he goes, yeah, we're going to do a historical recreation thing, I go, all right. Because <laughs> I know his style, you know, it's like, it's like that, it's weird, yeah. we got another one. She's, uh, it's a girl and she's like, she shows up out of the jungle into a, a village where it's all made out of song. It's not like uh, Takeshi Katano's Latoichi, it's different, different. And, it's, and then she finds a pop noodle, she eats it, and she passes out and gets kidnapped and gets put in a very specific bar in town as a singer. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, there's this child who, who, who isn't even able to go to the toilet by himself. He's kept inside this house, a very clean house. With, anyway, it goes on like this. And then it ends in a big musical number in the garbage dump. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the next one, right? Yeah, right. yeah. It's, really <laughs> it's got like a lot of vibe going on. Yeah. Really well, it, specific it was a very picturesque rubbish dump, I mean, oh, in a, a strange I way with the smoke and the yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And it's like, it's, it's, I imagine the one in Jakarta to be a bit like that. Um, um, I really want to go. <laughs> it looks big. Um, mm. But yeah, no, they, it's like super pretty and I, I find mm. it really beautiful. Um, yeah, it'd be definitely cool to mm. shoot there because smoke and light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. terrific. Yeah. yeah, and the afternoon sun. <laughs> it'd be divine. Um, is is will, will that happen next year or is that? Um, is that let's just see. Uh, we'll meet up in December. He, he'll oh, probably yes, give me a course. call over the next little while. Mm. I think once once the show's open, then we'll have a chat on the phone and uh, work out what's what, and Good. start to build from there. Uh huh. And will it have the same actors and this? Yeah, it's Dilly small. Dilly's sure, real small. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, my guess is probably. Yeah. yeah. It could be like a sequel to this, right? Uh, <laughs> or a prequel. That one, you know, themes would run over. On that one, like if we make that fictiony one first. Mm. But I've got another one called Atlil, which means like uh, shit ass. Mm. Well, it means like really bad. And I want it, it's like, I bought this phone so I could make movies on it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't know, have you ever seen the MIA music video, Double Bubble Trouble? Yeah, whatever. Uh, anyway, there's <laughs> lots of graphics and shit on it. Um, and I kind of want it to feel like that. And like, uh, you know, uh, 70s Batman? You know the... Power. Power sock, yeah, that stuff. <laughs> Lots of that. Yeah. The soundtrack, uh, yeah, they're mostly done by a musician called Edson Comenia, but also Liam Barton, who did the sound design. Like, uh, so when we made the theater show that I ended up in Timor because of Dokurai, the band for the show was Edson and Liam, and so they kind of came back together. Liam did the sound design on this, and uh, Edson did the music. So. I can show you a picture on my Instagram if you want. I don't have connection here. Um, I was on the Wi-Fi for NASA. Uh, but yeah, of them recording the soundtrack in a room covered in egg boxes. In, in Dili, right? In Dili, yeah. 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 But oh yeah, at the time, Edson was also stay-at-home dad because like, his partner is also in the theatre group that was the one where I met Apo. And so she was in the mountains. And so he didn't really have much time. He's also my tattooist. Um, so... so. <laughs> It's all freehand. Um, and this one here, he, he was stay at home dead at the time. And because they banned his kids from being at school at the same time as each other, because they're twins, right? Um, not that that explains it, but it just is. Um, so they get mor- one goes to morning school, one goes to afternoon school. And then he has like, uh, at the time she was two, I think. And she'd cry if she, ever she's like within five meter radius of me. Because I'm like, I don't know, a freak or something. Um, yeah, she didn't like me. Uh, anyway, so he had to drop one kid off at school, get the baby to bed, uh, then get the other kid from school and stuff while tattooing my leg half the time. So by the time he'd finished it, it'd swollen up out to here. It was like horrible. Because every time he stops, it gives it time to puff out. And, so, and then tattoos a bit more. Just, oh, pain, horrible pain. Anyway, so he stayed at, dad, uh, stayed at home dad while he was making the soundtrack. So it was like a bit hodgepodge. We got him when we got him and, you know, quick. So you jump in the room full of all the teenagers at the youth forum. And make a choir. What are they singing? Who knows? Let's go. Yeah. It's a funeral scene. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it came out. It comes out good. And the, the, I really like the Lakado. The, there's a bamboo instrument in there. It's like a xylophone, like a tiny xylophone, uh, which is like a traditional instrument in Timor. And it's just... And then the sticks are like this thin. They're like uh, uh, satay sticks. Mm-hmm. Um, they're really... But they give it that, 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 that really high, tony, yeah, it's like super weird xylophony sound. It's a really weird haunting noise. Um, how can I help you? Yeah, anything, uh, anything else? That's cool. <laughs> that, that's all right. Yeah, well, um, if there's no more questions, we can, we can come to a close. And if you have further questions uh, for Thomas, come talk to him. He's yeah, I'll be here. You, you, um, he's around? Uh, yeah, um, I can do that. Yep. Um, but thanks so much for, for dropping by. Uh, I'm sorry it took so long. Hey, no problem. Um, there's also a second screening of this film in November um, at the Club Cine Film. So if you if you liked it and um, you, you know wanna, Junji, yeah, want to tell your friends, oh, maybe not. <laughs> um, then I think in November sometime. Yes. I think yeah, uh, the fourth, fourteenth, fourteenth, yeah. I think. Um, but um, and I think you'll be there too. I will. Yeah. Yes. So if you if you like the film and want to recommend it to other people, um, it's screening again um, as well. So hopefully we'll see the next one as well. Yeah, I hope so. That'd be cool. Yeah, um, come by. Uh, it'd be really fun. I think. It's, uh, Do so. Um, anyway, thanks for coming. <laughs>